I have invited to Pal Talk New York Sun correspondent Yosef Ibrahim. And the reason that I asked uh, Mr. Ibrahim on is because not only is he a uh, reporter extraordinaire, having covered the Middle East, uh, not only for The Sun, but previously for The New York Times, he understands the region, he understands the people, he understands the nuances. More importantly, he understands Arabic. And as a result of that, he was sitting at home here in the New York area, his feet up on the couch, uh, sipping a soda pop, watching uh, Arab television, uh, watching what purported to be news coming out of uh, the Middle East. And what did he hear? He heard an Egyptian sheikh uh, calling for a peaceful jihad against the United States. Uh, to me, that's an oxymoronic term, peaceful jihad. Maybe he can help us with that. And he watched what purported to be a uh, network uh, television broadcast out of Syria that appears to be like a CNN or a Fox or an MSNBC or a BBC. And we all know that these various networks have their biases but not to the extent as what he saw uh, coming out of Syria, because it was a vitriolic attack against the United States. It was a vitriolic attack against Israel. And to him, and he reported this uh, very well in the New York Sun, uh, it, it, it appears to be an indoctrination of people of, of uh, Arabic background, who understand the Arabic language. And the rest of us, we're sitting here oblivious to this. It's on our cable channels here in uh, the New York area and presumably elsewhere in the United States. In New York City, it's on Time Warner Cable. And, you know, you just flip through the dial, and when you see that there's another language that they're speaking, whether it's Spanish, Japanese, or Arabic, if you don't understand it, of course, you go on elsewhere on the dial. And we're just uh, sitting here unaware that this kind of propagandizing is going on right here in the United States. And I wanted Yosef Ibrahim to come on to Pell Talk and talk to us about what exactly uh, is being uh, uh, propagandized to people right here in the United States. So I want to start by thanking you, uh, Yosef, to uh, News Talk Online on PellTalk.com. Oh, welcome back to the net, uh, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So uh, did uh, I get it course. particularly Gary, right this, as I explained uh, your situation and what you discovered? This is actually an established channel, uh, 507, uh, which could run under another uh, sort of, uh, channel in another network, is an established channel. It's been around for a while. What is, uh, what is new about it is the new direction it appears to be taking in the last, uh, I only began to notice this, say, in the last uh, month or so. Uh, it's gone on longer. I don't watch it regularly, but this is not a minor channel. This is a only Arabic channel on the Time Warner cable system. And as such, if you go into their website, they claim to have an audience of more than a million Arabic-speaking people. So um, if you are reaching a million persons in the greater New York City area and beyond that in Connecticut and adjoining states, uh, this is a serious proposition. So what you say on this channel becomes an even more serious proposition. That's when I became alarmed. So let's use the uh, you use the term peaceful jihad in your story in the New York Sun. Uh, how can you have a peaceful jihad? I thought jihad was uh, advocating uh, a violent overthrow of a system. Of course, it is absolutely correct. But what's more important here is that uh, this fellow, this preacher, is a very famous character in the Arab world. The fact that he suddenly surfaces now on a nightly basis, and I want to emphasize the word nightly basis, for a period of between half an hour and 45 minutes, preaching to the camera, which means preaching to this potential audience of a million plus, uh, uh, the message that he had become famous for in the past 10 years. This is not a nobody, this is somebody who is really 
closely identified with hardline Islamic fundamentalism in the Arab world. He's a well-known personality, extremely well-established. He's been working out of Saudi Arabia, of all places, for the last 10 years. And uh, he is preaching jihad. Now, the concept of jihad in Islam means a struggle to overthrow injustice. And uh, jihad is, in fact, a wraparound headline for what a Muslim should do. Uh, unfortunately, in the past uh, 10 years or more, since we have heard of Osama bin Laden sites, it has become a violent form of uh, a struggle, in effect, of killing uh, a people that Muslim fundamentalist extremists, like the preacher we are speaking about, who is looking at us every single night now through Time Warner cable television, it says that uh, a good Muslim should go out and really struggle in any way he or she can against infidels. Uh, now, am I even here anymore? Yes, you are, Gary. Please stand by. Yeah, are we connected, guys? Uh, sometimes we are. <laughs> yeah, everybody else can hear you, but I'm not. I don't understand why. Okay. Um, boys, Gary, you are you? here and we hear you. Okay, fine. I, I, our, our network is like uh, uh, jumping all over the place. So basically, this Sheikh, who's very well known, is coming on to uh, television here in the United States into the living rooms of people in the uh, tri-state area here in New York, and uh, he's uh, he's preaching things against the United States government. How is this even permitted, in your opinion? Hey, we have freedom of the press. And I did bring it up a number of times. Of course, this column has been written, and, and this... Uh, uh, this fellow, his name is, by the way, is Amru Khalid, uh, is quite famous, well known. Uh, he resonates uh, rather widely. And this is the month of Ramadan, which is the holy month of fasting in Islam. And it's also a month identified with struggle and sacrifice. I suspect they brought him on for this occasion. But it seems that he's a permanent feature. Uh, the mere fact that a guy like this is allowed to command time on airwaves in the United States of America, it's almost like asking, you know, one of Osama bin Laden assistants to come and address an audience every night in America. Now, that puts it in perspective, I think, for you. Yeah, it seems... Uh uh, it seems like that, and probably the folks at Time Warner Cable are unaware until they read your article in the New York Sun, Yosef Ibrahim, uh, uh, what, what's going on on their own uh, cable system. Uh, there are a couple people that are already waiting in line to talk to you. I want to make sure we get to as many callers as possible because I know a lot of people uh, want to get their licks in here on this issue. Our first caller is Cassandra. She's joining us from the United Kingdom and our affiliate ASI Online. Uh, thank you, Gary, and hello, uh, Yusuf Ibrahim. It's uh, good to good to to hear you and to hear you talking about this issue, because I think that uh, you know sort of what we're seeing here is the uh, is the propaganda that is is uh, most certainly being um, the propaganda war that's that's most certainly being waged in 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 the Western countries. Um, but you talk about the silent jihad. Isn't the silent jihad, in fact, being being backed up? I mean, this this is just one instance of the silent jihad. Doesn't the silent jihad?